you guys absolutely love my home hacks videos, so I thought let's do some thrifted home hacks. Right now, I'm headed out, I'm going to the thrift store, one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna take you with me and show you some of my best upcycled home hacks. Have you ever walked by these glass lampshades at the thrift store or at the restore and wondered, okay, what do I do with these? They're priced at only a dollar. I have an awesome upcycle in mind for these. I just have to pick out my favorite. I really like this one. I think this would be perfect, but there's so many other cool ones. Like that one's fun. These little ones are cute too. Ooh, what's this? Okay. This one, I think, would be perfect. Just watch me break in I thought this glass piece that went to a light fixture would be perfect as a modern succulent bowl. I love the shape of it, and actually I love the color of it, so I just cleaned it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to fill it with some soil. The other cool thing is it has holes on the bottom, so it already has drainage ready to go. Next, I bought some live succulents from Lowe's, and I'm going to add those into my container to make it look as full as possible. I think these look gorgeous sitting out on your kitchen table or they'd also be great in your living room. So I actually picked up another glass piece from a light fixture. I really like the texture on this piece. So I'm gonna be using a spray paint that I have that's kind of more transparent. It's actually a sea glass spray paint and it's in an aqua color and I love the transparency of it. I sprayed the back of the glass, let that completely dry, and then I flipped it to the other side and sprayed the top portion. Now these make great trinket trays. You can sit them out, put in decor, or put in useful items you have around your home. I have found the best app for saving you money. It's the app Upside. I was blown away by this app, you guys. I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video and I can't wait to share with you how cool it is. With gas prices and grocery prices going up, we could all save money any chance we get. Upside is a rewards app that's going to give you money back on gas, groceries, and restaurants. And the cool thing is you earn more points than you would with credit card rewards, sometimes up to three times more. So once you install the Upside app, you're just going to pull it up on your phone. From there, you just scroll through the most recent deals. I use Upside the most for the gas deals. There is a deal where I can save 25 cents a gallon. So all you have to do is claim the offer by pressing the claim button. Then you go purchase your gas like you would normal. And then all you have to do is take a picture of your receipt, upload it to the app, and then the rewards will be placed into your Upside account. You can receive your rewards directly in your bank account from PayPal, or you can get some e-gift cards like to Amazon. I'd love it if you'd use my link in the description box. You're gonna go to upside.app.link slash Liz Fenwick to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. I hope you guys are gonna check Upside out. It's such a cool product and I was so excited to find it. If you need wood shelves, cabinet doors, the ReStore is perfect for this. Look at these prices. They're super affordable, especially when wood is really expensive right now. What are you doing over here? What's going on? All right, I found these ceramic tiles. These are a great find. I found these ceramic tiles. These are a great find at the ReStore. You can use them to make all different kinds of things like coasters, trays. I'm gonna show you how to use these because I think these are really unique. 
I was excited to find these white angled tiles at the ReStore. They were only 25 cents each. I'm gonna use them to create a tray that would be perfect for my kitchen or bathroom. I'm also going to be using some wood pieces that I had on hand from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put the two wood pieces at the bottom and then I'm going to add E6000 to my two wood pieces. Make sure you use quite a bit so everything holds really well in place. Then I'm just going to line up my tiles, making sure they're even all the way across the top I love the fun, unique pattern that this created for the tray. I'm gonna let it sit completely overnight and then I can style it with items I have in my home. If you love home decor and DIY tips, consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. I'm at the ReStore, one of my favorite thrift stores for building supplies. And one of my favorite hacks is getting knobs and pulls. You can get them really inexpensively. These ones that I found, these black ones, I'm gonna get for just 50 cents. They come with all of the hardware. This one is also a really cool tile. It's unique, but I think it would make a fun tray. I'm also gonna use some of these knobs to add to my ceramic piece here. So the next tile tray that I'm gonna create is perfect to create risers with your decor. It just adds a little bit of dimension in your decor. So I love pieces like this. Again, this tile was only 25 cents. This is really easy. It's gonna take you five minutes to put together. I'm gonna E6000 the knobs to the bottom of my tray. Once those have a chance to set up and dry, I'm gonna add some black Waverly ink paint around the edge. I only wanted it on the edge, and I felt like this really just kind of finished off the tile. Once that dried, I added in my own decor, but this was super inexpensive, and I love how unique it is. If you've made it this far on the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment the word of the day, which is thrift. Okay, these are such a good deal. $10 each. The lampshades are a great deal. I love the shape of them. I may want to update this, but man, you cannot beat $10 for a lamp in great condition. I absolutely love finding lamps to upcycle because lamps are so expensive. I had these ones that I really liked off a of Pottery Barn and I wanted to recreate them. So it was such a score finding these two lamps for $10 each. I picked them up immediately and I feel like we went thrifting on the right day. At the ReStore we went on Monday morning and they were putting out so many new items. So maybe keep that in mind if you're going to your local store. I really didn't need to do much to these lamps but I wanted to update them so they were a little bit more modern. I removed the lampshades and then I used my frog tape to tape off the top portion of the lamps. Now with the bottom, I spray painted the bottom half with two coats of an ultra matte spray paint. Once that dried, I removed my painter's tape and then I came in with some rub and buff along the top edge. All I did was take a foam brush and I painted that on to the top half of my lamp. Once that dried, I added back in my lampshades because they were in great condition and no one would be able to guess that these lamps were only $10 each. I left the ReStore, I'm over at Blessings Abound, which is a thrift store, and I'm in the candle section. I'm gonna grab one of these candle holders. I have the perfect hack for all of your brass candlesticks. These are great as paper towel holders. You can put them out in your kitchen, add your paper towels, and it only costs you a couple of dollars, or you may already have them on hand. I love to pick up baskets and upcycle them. There's so many great uses for them. These are perfect in my bathroom. I can store towels in them, especially if you have a small bathroom. Mm -hmm. 
Now I found these baskets as well with these lids. They're really great for storing items. I'm gonna put these in my living room for additional storage. You can also use baskets like this to really elevate your plants. It provides a lot of texture at the bottom of your plants. Are you on TikTok? If so, make sure you're following me at Liz from Make DIY. I post behind the scenes, quick DIYs, so you definitely want to follow me. I'm in the fabric section at the thrift store, and one of my favorite hacks is using inexpensive fabric and rugs to recover items in my home. This fabric is a nice home decor fabric, only $3. I don't know about you guys, but my girls love to play with slime and I let them play with slime in the house, but sometimes you may have a fabric and slime disaster. And that's what happened on this bench that I recovered. My daughter had gotten her slime on there and we weren't able to get it out. So I decided to recover it and to do it inexpensively, I found some fabric at the thrift store that I thought would work perfectly. Now, just to make it really easy to do, I'm going to use the existing foam piece that it was already sitting out on my bench and I just cut my fabric down to size. I'm gonna wrap it on one edge and to make it even easier, I'm gonna hot glue it in place. I'll cut the other side and hot glue that. And then on the edges, I'm gonna cut off any excess and fold them over and hot glue them, kind of like I'm wrapping a package. And I'll do that on both sides. Make sure that it's pulled nice and tight before I'm hot gluing. It looks so much better and it only cost me a couple of dollars from thrifted fabric. Now, as much as I like buying my organization at Dollar Tree, the thrift store is a great option. I mean, look at this brand new organization for a dollar. This is a Target organizer, so it's a great place to get some good deals. I use this bead organizer to add in my washi tape at the office. Let me know what your favorite upcycled home hacks are down in the comments. I love knowing your guys' opinion and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.